hello and welcome back to my channel get crafty tutorials today i'm back with a new tutorial and i'm going to show you how to make your own stickers with print and cut option on your Cricut design space okay so let's just go ahead to tools and materials for the tools and materials i'm going to link everything in bio as i do always but i'm going to use special sticker paper so i have this regular sticker paper that i just bought in a shop next door then i have this special photo paper which is also a sticker paper and it is a matte one now i also have a glossy one right next to me over here i'm just going to do it with the matte version and then we'll do this glossy version another time because i do want to do a separate tutorial on how to make cake toppers or cool stickers for a birthday party and with the bleed option okay so next up i'm going to use the light grip matte so the light grip matte is the blue one okay so Sometimes I do use the standard grip when it's more thicker, but for these, I'm going to use the light grip mat. Then next to that, we also have this tool from Cricut. I'm going to link it in bio as well. And this can help you by getting off the paper off the mat because sometimes it does stick and you do not want that paper to stick on the mat because otherwise it gets really messy. Okay, so I think this sums up all the tools we're going to need here. So let's just go ahead to our step one, which is our Cricut design space. Okay, so for me, my blank canvas is all good to go. Now, what I want to do is a side note, which is really, really important before start cutting, is when you're using this for the first time, please do set up your print calibration because your print and cut calibration in the tab, I'm going to show in a separate video how to do it because I'm not going to add it in this one, but please do it because it can otherwise cut in a wrong way. Okay, so now that i have said the most important thing i'm just going to show you how to upload a sticker i've made one in canva so this is canva and i've used the, the sticker i've already downloaded so i'm just going to show you how to upload it now it is really important that you notice what i'm going to do because i saved two versions because this is one of my beginner's mistakes now, as you can see, I have a transparent one and I have one that is white. Now you would say, I would take the transparent one. Then I do not have to do any erasing in Cricut Design Space, but let's do that. Let's open it and let's click on simple because as you can see, everything is already cut out. Now I'm going to click on continue and you're going to notice that the setup for this one, when I click on preview cut image, is not what I want because it's going to cut even the words the image and the Merry Christmas part. Because with a sticker, we do not want that. Now in the beginning, I've had this mistake so many times because you just want to have that circle around it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, replace my image, I'm going to go back to my images and I'm going to take the one that is all white. So I'm going to click on open and I'm going to click again on simple, okay? Because we're going to keep it simple. It's not a complex setting and we're going to click on continue and now we just want to go ahead and click on I'm just going to show you because now there's no circle i'm just going to go ahead and click on these edges so we have four okay and while i click now on preview cut image you'll see a nice circle so this represents the cut that your machine will do and this is what we want for a sticker we always want to see that shape so let's just go ahead and click on print then cut image but the cut image is always a representation of what your machine will cut okay so let's go ahead and click on upload and we'll add this one to our canvas perfect i'm going to save this as a template for everyone as usual so you can use it as well but let's just go ahead and resize the sticker because this is way too big for our print then cut so i'm just going to go ahead and resize it and I'm just even going to set it on four by four. So I'm just going to modify it here in the size tab because yeah, let's do it over here. Perfect. Okay, now we have that set up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate our sticker. Now you can just copy and paste with your keyboard or you can just use the duplicate button. So I'm just going to duplicate it in four different stickers or five. Let's just see what goes on our sheet. And I'm going to go until I have five all lined up. Just going to make this a tad smaller. And this is our fifth one. Perfect. 
Now I'm just going to select everything and align them on the left side. This way we have it. And I'm just going to resize these margins in between the stickers. Okay, perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to make it, wait, I'm going to, yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm just going to select everything. Okay, so you can also just use a button, select all and duplicate these until I have three rows. And those three rows are the ones that just fit on my page because you do have to be careful. Sometimes you'll get an error. So let's just go ahead and click on make it. Okay, now we're going to the print and cut option. So now you can see there's enough space between the stickers as well. So just click on next. This part is really crucial because you are going to send this one to your printer. So make sure your paper is already loaded. If you've already printed, you can click on I've already printed and that way you can skip the step, but I'm going to print. So I'm using the printer that I always use for this one. So it's a Canon. Then I'm going to add bleed for the first one. And I always use my system dialog, okay? Because in this one, you cannot change the settings for the quality of your printer uh, printing settings. So let's just go ahead and see for that pop-up. Okay, so this is the one. So as you can see, you can go ahead and choose your media type, your quality, and I'm going to put it on best. That way we have the best printing option because it is a sticker. We always want that. But in media type, you could also choose like if it's a photo paper, but I'm not going to do it for this one, but later on, we're going to do that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and print because it's regular sticker paper. Now, after this, we're going to jump to the cutting se uh, settings in Cricut Maker as usual, and we're going to use our printable sticker paper. Okay, so now I'm just waiting for my paper to come out of the printer. And I already noticed something immediately, and that is that the quality of the picture and of the lines, really the lines, so the frame of the Cricut design space, and then the lines, the circle itself, they are not very clear. And I do know it's not my printer, it is the paper, because I always use this printer, and it's like really good quality. So let's just go ahead and put the base material on printable sticker. As I said, this is a really light thin sticker paper that I bought in the shop. So I'm going to put the pressure on less. Now what I'm aiming for is that the stickers will not be cut through. Okay. So I do want them to be on a sheet. So let's just hope that it's going to do that. So I'm just going to load the mat. I'm using the light grip paper mat. I'm going to load and cut. First of all, it's going to scan. And what is it going to scan? It's going to scan between the frame and the stickers, between that bleed. Once it's done scanning, it's going to start pripping and cutting as it always does. Okay, so I'm just going to let it cut and then we're going to see each other for the results. Okay, so the results are in and I do have to say that I'm a bit disappointed about the cut around the bleeding because I do not know if you can see the colors are not that radiant. So I can immediately see the difference with my other stickers that I've already printed. Uh, it's my first time using this kind of paper as well. So it is different, but I want to really, I wanted to test the one that you can buy in the, in the marketplaces. So this is the result. Now for the bleeding, I do have like some edges that are totally not equal. So this is a problem for me. So let's just jump straight to the photo sticker paper that I always use. So we're going to do the exact same thing, except we're going to remove the bleed and we're going to use the system dialog again and put it, as I said, earlier on photo and again on best. And then we'll print and do the same steps as we've just done for this sticker paper. And let's see if those results will end up because now it did cut through and I do want to keep that one sheet effect. Okay, you guys, so for me, it's already really, really clear. I do think you can see it as well, but the quality of this photo paper is so much more better than the previous one. Colors are vibrant, even the text is really neat. You can see that the frame is so neat. I'm going to do a close up on my paper because I do want to share the difference. 
So this is the paper that I've just printed out and I'm going to show you the previous one just next to it so you can really see the difference. So this is the cut and the text and the color. When I put the photo sticker paper next to it, you can see that the photo sticker paper gives that professional effect. And this is a paper I always use you guys because it is really thick and I do love it. So let's just see and put it to the test if it's going to stick on one sheet or not. So I do know some of you are thinking it's thicker so she needs to change the setting. But as you know, the Cricut Design Space only has these three settings. So I'm going to keep the printable sticker paper white. So we're just going to leave that as is, but I'm going to put the pressure on default and see, not on more because I do not want to cut through. I'm just going to do it like this. So again, let's just put the paper on the blue mat, the light grid mat. Let it scan for a second because it's going to scan again the frame and the circles, and then it's going to start cutting. So let's see each other for the end results, won't we? Okay, you guys, so this is it. Little close up, they're cut. You cannot see the cut as well, but I'm going to use my Cricut tool and I'm going to put it in bio as well, just to release the paper gently because I do notice that it did not cut through. So I do love this. So let's just see if we're going to have that same thing or we can just pull off the sheet nice and gently and see if we can go ahead and work with that because this is what I'm aiming for you guys, okay? So just pull that sheet light and gentle from the light grip mat because you do not want it to be damaged beneath as well. So there you go. So almost you can see some of the edges, but it did not cut through so okay mission accomplished so we're still not there but if you have any tips and tricks you can share them in the comments what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to use this cutting tool i do not do this on a daily basis so i do think if you're using it really for sticker uh small business you should invest in some special tools but i'm just going to use this one put the line right in the middle it does a trick and you're just going to go ahead and pull through and i'm going to do all the edges around them until I have everything all sorted out. Okay, you guys, final results, they are in. And as you can see, I have a clean sheet with the stickers on them and you can just go ahead and pull them off. And this is, great for offering these to your friends, to your colleagues, just using them yourself, putting a lot of stickers for your pantry or something, or just to go ahead and sell them as a small business. I love making these as well. So I'm just going to link all my material in the bio as I always do. Okay, you guys, I hope you liked this tutorial and you're going to try it yourself. This template is available in Quicker Design Space as usual. So go ahead and have fun. And do subscribe, like this video if you liked it, comment in my comment section and thank you to all the followers that I already have. Thank you so much for the support and thank you for watching Get Crafted Tutorials.